Retrospect gives you the ability to back up network devices such as NAS devices or other network devices that you may not have Retrospect client software for. To do that, you go to Configure and then go to Volumes. And then you click on My Network and you browse to the network that contains the item you're looking for, your source drive specifically. And then you navigate to the server you need to, need to access. And once you navigate to the server, you can choose the disk or the folders that contain your source data. We'll go ahead and go down to my specific folder. And we're going to go ahead and add a, add a folder as our source. Now Retrospect displays that source folder under My Network Places. We'll see this folder also appear when we go to Backup and click on Sources. We're going to see the same folder. We're going to go ahead and return to Configure Volumes. And inside Configure Volumes, the next step we need to take is we right click on the folder and we get properties on it. And inside properties, in the upper right corner, or excuse me, upper left corner, we have, have an option for automatic login. And in this window, you enter the login information you would like Retrospect to use when it connects to that disk. And then you enter in your password. The next time Retrospect goes to do a backup, it's going to log into that disk using that password information and then copy the appropriate data.